All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, and do good so that you may succeed, and said, a kind word and forgiveness is better than a charitable, a charitable deed followed by hurtful words. Allah is self-sufficient for bearing. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Islam is a comprehensive message that encompasses all moral values and lofty ideals. One of these values is to bring comfort to others and to reform their broken hearts. It is a value that indicates one's nobility and sympathy. The Almighty Allah has honored this value as he makes it one of his, of his attributes. He calls himself Al-Jabbar, as in his saying, he is God, there is no God but other than him, the controller, the holy one, source of peace, grantor of security, guardian over all, the Almighty, the most consoler. He is the caterer to the needs of his creatures. He supports the poor with wealth, the sick with health, and turns fear into tranquility. al qurtubi said, this name of Allah is a hyperbolic form of rot jabr, which indicates reforming what's broken, resolving the affairs of all creatures and enriching the poor. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to ask Allah, saying, O oh Allah, pardon me, have mercy on me, guide me, provide me with comfort, and grant me sustenance. The Almighty Allah shows his servants how to reform their broken hearts. In the story of the mother of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, when she felt sorrow for losing her son, Allah brought him back to her to bring comfort to her. As he said, we restored him to his mother in this way, so that she might be comforted, not grieve, and know that Allah's promise is true though most of them do not know. When our Prophet, peace be upon him, was forced to leave his homeland, Mecca, Allah consoled him through revealing to him his saying, he who, ha he who has made the Quran binding on you, O Prophet, will bring you back home, that's to Mecca again. This value appears in the life of our Prophet, peace be upon him. When he returned home troubled and thinking that something bad has inflicted him, his wife Khadija comforted him, saying, Never. By Allah, Allah will never disgrace you. You keep good relations with your kith and kin, help the poor and the destitute, serve your guests generously and assist the deserving calamity afflicted ones. When our Prophet, peace be upon him, met Jabir ibn Abdullah after the martyrdom of his father, who left for Jabir younger sister to care about and debts to pay off, the Prophet wanted to comfort Jabir. He told him, O oh Jabir, shall I not tell you what Allah has said to your father? Allah does not speak to anyone except from behind a screen. But he spoke to your father face to face and said, O oh my slave, ask me and I shall give you. He said, My Lord, bring me back to life so that I may be killed for your sake a second time. He said, I have already decreed that you will not return, meaning to the world after death. The Prophet, peace be upon him, gives us the greatest example of consolation when the poor immigrants came to him and said, O Messenger of Allah, the rich have taken away all the rewards. They observe salah as we do and give sadaqah out of their surplus, surplus wealth. Upon this, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Has Allah not prescribed for you a course following which you can also give charity. In every declaration of glorification of Allah, that's saying, Subhan Allah, there is charity, and, every, and in every takbir, that's saying, Allahu Akbar, there is charity, and every celebration of praise, there is char charity, and in every declaration that He is one, 
meaning La ilaha illallah, there is charity and in enjoining good is charity and in forbidding evil is charity. The one who contemplates the Islamic Sharia will find out that reforming the broken hearts of others and bringing comfort to them is of paramount importance, especially to the weak. The Almighty Allah said, so do not be harsh with the orphan and do not chide the one who seeks help. That is, try to console them and be kind to them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, you receive provision and divine support by virtue of the weak ones amongst you. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, I and the one who looks after an orphan will be like this in paradise, showing his middle and index fingers together. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, one who strives to help the widows and the poor is like the one who fights in the way of Allah. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked, which deeds are best in the sight of Allah, he said, the best of deeds is that you bring joy to your believing brother, or you pay off a debt on his behalf, or you feed him bread. The Prophet also said, the most beloved people to Allah are those who are most beneficial to people. The most beloved deed to Allah is to make a Muslim happy, or to remove one of his troubles or to forgive his debt or to feed his hunger. That I walk with a brother regarding a need is more beloved to me than when I seclude myself in this, mo in this mosque for a, mo for a month. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his companions and followers. Undoubtedly, Bringing comfort to the weak is a moral value that includes promoting solidarity in the whole society. Islam does not know selfishness or negativity. Rather, it knows sincere brotherhood, caring for people's feelings and comforting them. The Prophet peace be upon him said, the believers in their mutual kindness, kindness, compassion, and sympathy are just like one body. When one of the limbs suffers, the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, whoever has an extra amount should offer it to whom without it, and whoever has surplus food should give it to him who has nothing. Meanwhile, we affirm that consolation may be practiced through one's actions, good word, and invocation, sincere advice or a smile. Our Prophet peace be upon him said, do not belittle any good deeds. Even if meeting your brother Muslim with a cheerful face. We also confirm that consolation has a great impact on spreading love, unity and cohesion of society. O oh Allah guide us to the good deeds and make us a source of comfort for people.